It's a strange one, but bear with me. Are you a pension fund or a private equity firm? Hi guys and welcome back to The Property Hustle. Now before I go any further with this video, make sure you click the subscribe button below and click the bell icon as well so you can get notifications every time I post. As the title of the video suggests, I'm going to be answering the question how to get started in property investing or where to begin in property investing. It's a question I get asked all the time, constantly. In fact, I was asked this question just last week by a good friend of mine who is considering investing in property. Now, annoyingly, it's one of those questions that doesn't really have a simple answer. And in fact, whenever I am asked this question, I tend to respond or reply with questions of my own for that particular individual. So in today's video, I'm just gonna run through the three main questions that I ask to individuals, and I ask them to consider these questions when considering whether they should get into property investing or not. So question number one, it's a strange one, but bear with me. Are you a pension fund or a private equity firm? Now, what do I mean by that? Essentially, what I'm asking is, what level of risk are you comfortable with? Because let's face it, investing in property, heck, investing in any kind of vehicle, uh, be it stocks, shares, um, whatever, investing in property is a risky business, right? So you have to decide what level of risk are you comfortable with? Now, typically pension funds uh, are, in, you know, when pension funds invest, they're investing to try and get return on the money that people have put into their pension pots, right? So they can't be too risky. They are managing people's money and therefore they can't invest in anything too risky. They t Pension funds tend to go for long, secure income hold properties, you know, your, your classic kind of office building in the city, you know, properties that aren't necessarily going to go out of fashion and are consistently going to provide them with a long, stable return. Now, a private equity firm, on the other hand, they are much higher on the risk scale. They go for distressed assets. They look for assets that might need refurbishment or need some kind of management in order to really pull the most return out of that uh, property or that asset. So that's why I always ask people, are you a pension fund or are you a private equity firm? Because if you are on the lower side of the risk scale, there are strategies available to you. You know, there is the what people call vanilla buy to let, you know, buy it, hold it for an extended period of time and then sell it hopefully for a return. If you are, however, on the higher end of the risk curve, you might consider something like property development, where it's there's a lot more risk involved in that. But like most cases, it, you know, higher risk tends to mean higher return. So that's the first question. Consider what level of risk you are willing to take. The second question is how much time do you have available to you? Because getting into any kind of additional um, income stream, you know, when you are typically a lot of people that ask me this question are working full time. So they don't have a lot of time on their hands. Some people might be self-employed and are looking to add to their, um, you know, streams of income via property invested. You have to decide how much time you have available to give, because if you are time poor, you're not going to want to do a very time intensive strategy like serviced accommodation or anything that's going to require a lot of your time and running around. Um, if you are time rich, you could look to do serviced accommodation, HMOs, rent to rent, you could be a lettings agent, you could do a lot of things in property if you are time rich, but you just have to decide how much time you've got to, to input. If you are time poor, it doesn't mean that you can't get into property, it just means you'll have to do some networking and maybe meet people who are time rich or have the expertise to carry out that strategy um, for you on your behalf. So you could maybe do a joint venture partnership. But yeah, I'd say the second most important question to ask yourself before getting into property investing is how much time do you have available to commit to that chosen property strategy? And finally, and probably the most important question I'd say, is what is your exit strategy? Like what, it, what is it ultimately that you want to get out of property investing? You have to start with the end in mind, all right? You can't just buy a property and then just, you know, have no other plan for it. You've got, it's like any business, you have to think long term, okay? So you have to decide whether you are just in it for the long term, you know, do you just wanna buy property and hold it and, you know, pay off the debt for an ex um, over 25, 30 years, however much, and then own it outright? Or do you wanna buy ref you know, a property that is pretty run down, you know, for a below market value? 
do it up and then refinance to pull equity out of the out of the deal um, and then continue that way or do you want to do you not even want to own your property yourself do you want to be doing a strategy where you are managing properties on behalf of landlords you have to think of what your end game is and what your exit strategy will be because that will dictate where you invest and what type of property strategy you do okay so those are the three questions i hope they've been useful I tend to ask, whenever I do ask these questions, people always have questions to, to throw back at me. So I'm happy to answer any further questions that might you might have now uh, based off of what I've just said. So please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will respond accordingly. Unfortunately, that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for new content every Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.